Hi, my name is Doug, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Interactive Look At template. Let's check it out. The Interactive Look At template is designed to trigger an additional animation when a user looks at an object. First, open Lens Studio and click on the Interactive Look At template. You'll notice the template already has an animated character inside of it. This represents what the final product could look like once you have all of your own content hooked up. Feel free to play around in here for a bit. To start, locate the object with the labeled name Replace Me and remove the object from the scene. In the Resources panel, locate the content with the label Remove Me and do the same. Now we're ready to import our animated content. Go to File, Import, and import the FBX you exported from your 3D package. Let's place the imported object under the World Object Controller. This will parent it to the controller. You may need to scale up or down your object to fit inside the Touch Collision box. The Touch Collision box represents what users will interact with when manipulating your object around on the surface. Next, we'll import the textures we exported with our FBX file. Right click in the Resources panel and select Add. Import Files, and grab all of the textures you want to pull in. For this tutorial, we'll be using a couple of PBR materials. To create a new material, right-click inside of the Resources panel and choose Add, Material, and choose PBR. We'll use two separate PBR materials for this object, one for the ball and one for the character. Next, we'll apply the new material to our object's mesh. If you have multiple objects using the same material, you can select them all and apply them all at once. Now we'll connect all of the textures for each material from the textures we imported. We'll start with our owl character. And then we'll connect the textures for our ball material. Next, we'll get our animations hooked up. Select the World Object Controller from the Object panel. Under Animation Settings in the Inspector panel, find the field labeled Animation Mixer. Left-click on this field and locate the Animation Mixer component from the object you imported. Next, we'll enter our animations. The names of animations can be found by selecting the object with the Animation Mixer component on it in the Objects panel. We'll enter the name of our idle animation first in the field labeled Idle Anim Layer. Then, under Look at Animation Settings, we'll enter our Look at Anim in the field labeled Look at Anim Layer. Hit the Restart button in the Preview panel to apply your changes. The trigger angle represents the size of a circle around the Look at target that a user's camera must be looking inside of to start the Look at animation. While outside this circle, the object will continue to play the idle animation. There's no magic number here, so you can play with this until you find a value that's right for you and your experience. Additionally, we have a look at target you can specify. The look at target is a scene object that represents the center of the circle for the trigger angle mentioned previously. You can make your own object or use the one we've provided here to change the center of the look at target. Next, we'll apply shadows. Select the mesh for your imported object. If you have more than one mesh, you can select them all at once. Select Caster from the Shadow Mode drop down menu. You may want to adjust the density of your shadow. You can do that with the Shadow Density slider.
We can also fine-tune our manipulate component if we need to. From here, we can control dragging, scaling, and rotation. We can also control the minimum and maximum distance the object can move from the camera, as well as the min and max scale. Finally, let's preview our lens in Snapchat. To do this, click Pair Your Device in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then, open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Make sure your device and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. Depending on your network, this may take up to 30 seconds to connect. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Push Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens inside of Snapchat. This lens is now ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Now you can enjoy your own custom creation in Snapchat with Lens Studio. Thanks for watching.